Let's see an example of how we can create a custom operator in the Data Intelligence Modeler. Say we want to operationalize the training of a HANA ML algorithm in DI. We have seen that in principle we have a ready to use HANA ML training operator, so let's have a look at it. We open the configuration panel and we see that we can select the HANA instance where we want to run some embedding machine learning. Perfect. With the configuration manager option, we see that we can access all the connections that are there in our uh, data intelligence uh, instance. Uh, so this is very easy to use. We can establish connectivity uh, simply by selecting the ID of the connection we want. We can also select with the data set we want to use as input for our machine learning, which features we want to use, etc. So fantastic. Then we see that we can choose the kind of model that we want to train. And in fact, the most common machine learning scenarios are there. So we, ha we, can, we can choose between classification, clustering, regression, and time series. But the thing is that these scenarios are still pretty limited with respect to the full HANML offering. So, for instance, if we want to train some association models, we cannot do that with this operator. So, we need to configure our custom operator, and we want to be able to call HANML methods from this operator, whatever HANML method. And say we want to do that from uh, uh, Python, using the HANML Python package because we are familiar with this language and it's convenient for our data scientist. So how can we do that? So we can um, go to the operator tab and click the plus symbol to create a custom operator. We are asked to give it a name and to select the base operator. In this case, we will pick Python 3. I have indeed already created a custom operator with these uh, features that we need. So for simplicity, I will just open this operator and we can go over the configuration. You will get anyway step-by-step -step instruction to create this operator on your own. So the first thing that we can configure are the input and output ports. So in this case, I want to leave the operator very generic, so I just add an input port with type string. Uh, so this will just serve as a trigger. So the start uh, button, let's say, for the, for this operator. And uh, anyways, we will have the chance to add ports um, where we uh, use this operator within a graph. So then the important thing we want to look at now is the configuration tab. So here, is where we need to add all the parameters we want to be displayed in the configuration dialog of our operator. So for the default ANA train operator, for instance, here we had a lot of configuration, so the connection, the data set, the algorithm, etc. Here we want to just add the connection parameter and to design our dialog box, we can use this JSON editor. So you see here that I have uh, already added some JSON configuration where I said that I want a parameter called HANA connection uh, that um, has to be an object. And uh, we will need to have the choice between making a manual configuration or to use the configuration manager, etc. So Basically, I've borrowed this uh, JSON snippet from the configuration of our uh, HANML train operator. So then we have the script. So here we need to put exactly what uh, our operator should actually do. So we want it to import HANML and we want as soon as it receives its trigger signal, uh, we wanted to establish the connection within with the HANA database using the connection parameters configured to the dialog box. And once we are connected with HANA, we will execute whatever machine learning command 
we can retrieve uh, PAL and APL algorithms, uh, etc. So this operator, once it's saved, it can be inserted in a graph and uh, in, in the configuration we'll, um, we will have the chance to add an HANA connection and then we will also have the chance to adapt the Python template um, according to our needs.